Hey everyone, Yagi here. In this tutorial, we are going to go over aligning and wrapping text in Google Sheets. Let's get started. So there are two types of align in Google Sheets. First, we have our horizontal align and we have our vertical align. So to align text horizontally, we can use two approaches. First, we can go up to format. We can go down to align and you can see here it's currently set to left. We can change that to center by clicking center. Easy. There's also a subheader up here and it also helpfully displays what alignment it's currently at. So let's click on that and let's move our alignment over to the right. We moved over to the right. We've also got some shortcuts here. So for example, if we wanted to move to the left, we can hit Control, Shift and L. To the center, the shortcut is Control, Shift and E. And then all the way over to the right, Control, Shift and R for right. Okay, so that's horizontal alignment sorted out. Let's move this back to the center. We've also got our vertical up down assignment. Now, again, there's two locations to access that. I previewed it earlier. Here we can go up to a format, go down to a line, and you can see it's currently aligned at the bottom. So we can change this by simply clicking middle. Done. Again, the shortcut right next to this horizontal line is our vertical line. We can click this here, and we can move this right up to the top. Easy. Let's move this down to the center and make it look neat and tidy. Done. Okay, let's move on to wrap. So here we have a long string of text that's overflowing the current cell. We can wrap all this text inside the cell easily by going up to our format and text wrapping. Here it wraps it all in the same cell. We can do the same, so let's go back to format, text wrapping and overflow. We can do the same thing again through this submenu over here called text wrapping. And we can wrap the, all the data within the cell. Now, sometimes you might not want this. I've had occasions where I've had a lot of data that if I wrapped it, it would go down the columns forever, uh, down the rows forever. Sometimes you just want a preview of the data, and then you can use the function bar up here to read the full text of the data. So to do this, you can just trim it by simply going to text wrap and hitting clip. And now you've got a little preview, but it's still available when you click on the text up the top. Excellent. All right, let's go back to wrap because it looked pretty good. All right, let's move on to an example. So let's click on our attendance tab. Here in our attendance tab, we've got all our data and it's not looking that pretty at the moment. At the moment, we've got a list of names. They look pretty good over to the left. However, these numbers far over to the right look a little bit messy. So what I might do is click on one, let's center it. I'll go up to our alignment and click center. Now I could do the same also for all of these numbers. So if I click on this and I drag it all the way down and then maybe let's use format this time and align and center. And now everything's centered. Okay, moving over to here, we've got our total, uh, our numbers for our total present. Let's move these to the center as well. So another way to select instead of dragging down, you can also hold down the shift key. And for example, we're currently on L4 and I want to select all the way down to L8. So I can hold down the shift key on the cell L8 and that's fully selected. Now let's center that again. So let's go to horizontal alignment and center. That's looking a bit better. This subhead heading also could do with a bit of a center of a line. So let's click on that. So what I've done here is actually clicked on the row and that's selected the entire row. So now let's go over to our format align and center. Cool. Now these are all down the bottom. I think it'd probably look better if I put these in the middle as well. So let's go up to our vertical alignment and change this to middle. Whoops, need to select it first. Go up to our, we'll select the entire row again. Go up to our vertical alignment and select middle. Ah, oh, that looks pretty tidy now. Cool. Now our next step, we've got our average over here. And our average relates to this figure here. To make it more readable, we can move the average over to the right. So I'm going to select this cell and click and change to right for our alignment. 
The last bit is our list of comments. These comments are all overflowing our, our cell at the moment and they don't look tidy at all. So what we might do here is click, I'm going to hold down shift again and click this last cell and then I'm going to go up here for text wrapping and wrap the text. That's pretty good. Okay, I think that's a wrap. Get it, wrap. I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.